Welcome to another edition of the CS Podcast, where you can hear interviews with special guests such as Dayon Buchanan, Tom Waddle, Pierre Desir, Brent Barry, Ed Werder, and many others. Too big, too strong, too fast, too good. So be sure to subscribe and tune in to the CS Podcast on YouTube at youtube.com slash christianre722. Did you not get the memo? That's www.youtube.com slash christianre722. For great interviews, be sure to check out the CS Podcast. You are ridiculous! Welcome back to the CS Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Shanafell, and I'm now joined by 2015 NFL Draft Prospect, cornerback out of Fresno State, Curtis Riley. I appreciate you taking some time to chat today. Curtis, how's everything going? Everything's good. Thanks for having me. Hey, the pleasure's all mine. So let's go ahead and get right to it. Uh, You've actually had a pretty interesting journey to get to where you're at today. Um, Coming out of high school, you were at a uh, Division II school, Mars Hill College in North Carolina. You were only there for uh, one season, but you had a pretty big uh, impact on the defense that one year, recording 52 tackles and two interceptions. I believe you then took a year off uh, before making the decision to transfer to Fullerton College in 2012, and you were able to practice with the team that season, but you weren't eligible to play in any games. Uh, you also participated on the track and field team at Fullerton. Uh, can you just take us through those first few years of college and, and tell us how you ultimately ended up at Fresno State? Oh, well, my first couple of years in college, I was, I was very immature. So I had to humble myself up to, and figure out what I really wanted to do in my life. So I decided to go to California to, change, uh, to, to get ready to play Division I football because that was my goal. Um, so I, I, they, they let me practice, and I had to take a lot of classes in order to be able to go Division One. And I made a practice film, and um, I ended up getting a couple offers off of it, and that's how I ended up here. And I see your first year at Fresno. You actually seen a lot of action right away. You seen action in all 13 games, and you actually started 11 of them. Uh, you recorded 53 tackles, five and a half tackles for loss, and an interception that season. You guys went 11 and two, won the Mountain West Championship, and took on USC in the Las Vegas Bowl, uh, where, where you guys ultimately came up short, 45 to 20. But can you just tell us about that first year of yours as a Bulldog, though? I mean, that was a really talented team with, of course, uh, Derek Carr and Devonte Adams. Uh, how did going up against those guys every day in practice, uh, you know, make you a better corner? Uh, it was great going up against them every day in practice. It made me a better player. And uh, see, after sitting out for two seasons and then having to come to a team like that with those kind of a players with Josh Harper, Devontae, going up against them every practice, they, it, it made me a, a better player. And uh, ha- after the success that you and your team had, at, uh, you know, that junior year of yours, uh, what were your expectations for this past season, knowing that it will be your final go-around at the college level? I mean, i, I got to think you wanted to go out with a bang. Yeah, uh, everybody wanted to go out with a bang. Um, we, we all worked hard, especially me. I, I really put my mind to trying to be a better corner because uh, I really had dreams of being in the NFL, and it was getting close. So uh, I really tried to lock down on my technique and, try to work on that as much as I can to get ready for the NFL. Absolutely. Well, uh, Curtis, this past season, the Fresno State Bulldogs, you, you guys struggled a little bit uh, early on. I know you guys got uh, got off to a rough start, 0-3, I believe. Uh, you guys finished the season 6-8, and uh, still making an appearance in the uh, Mountain West Championship game in the Hawaii Bowl. Uh, individually, it was another very solid season out of you. You put up 53 tackles, 4.5 tackles for loss, 1 sack, 1 forced fumble, 1 fumble recovery. Uh, now, with all that being said, though, uh, how would you describe your overall college football experience, uh, of course, beginning? Beginning at the Division Two level and now finishing up at the the, the Division One level at Fresno State. Uh, it was a it was a really great experience. Um, Division One football is just is just amazing. You know the, the energy from the crowd and just everything is it, it, it's just an amazing experience and uh, I, I really enjoyed myself out there. Mm-hmm. Well, Fresno State. But what would you say is the, uh, you know, did, did you have to make any uh, big transitions? I mean, was there anything that you had to change uh, a, a part of your game, uh, you know, from the Division Two level to the Division One level? Uh, I really didn't have to change anything uh, other than my position, which was kind of uh, hard for me a little bit, trying, uh, having to turn around, locate the ball, and 
react more because when I was playing safety, it's just sitting back and seeing everything happen in front of you. So I would say that was a big thing. All right, and of course, uh, one of your teammates, Curtis, uh, Deron Smith, a fellow defensive back. His name is really beginning to heat up as we get closer and closer to the draft. Uh, h- how good is your now former teammate? I, I mean, do you expect to uh, see him uh, make make big plays in the NFL? Yeah, I see Deron making a lot of a lot of plays. Uh, he, he's a very great football player. Uh, actually, one of the best football the best football players that I actually got to play with, and. Um, he just has great knowledge of the game, and he's always putting puts himself in positions to make uh, plays. And I hey. feel like he'll do really good in the NFL. Absolutely. High praise for sure. Once again, Chris Shanfeld talking with 2015 NFL Draft Prospect. Curtis Riley, cornerback out of Fresno State. And Curtis, when I mentioned your name along the lines of NFL Draft Prospect, uh, what goes through your mind? I mean, when did you realize that playing in the NFL, you mentioned it was a dream. When did you realize that it may not only be a dream, but it could become a reality? Uh, I felt like I felt that way, I would say, going into my senior year at Fresno State. Uh, with my journey and how rough it was and all the ups and downs, um, I, I knew that I wanted to be in the NFL, but it didn't really hit me that I was going to be there until my senior year. Mm-hmm. Uh, I put a lot of work in and um, got all of my grades right, and on the field, it just turned out and it's about to come. Yeah, man, like you said, it's been a heck of a journey for you, man. And now we're just, uh, you know, a few weeks away from the NFL draft. Very exciting time for you, I'm sure. Uh, Over the last four years, whether it was when you were at Fresno State or not, uh, who would you say is the best or most impressive player that you've uh, had to line up against? Oh, uh, Devontae Adams. Um, In practice, you know, every day I had to go up against him in practice, and um, he just made me work. He made me want to be a better player, and and that's what he did. Um, He and then him and Derek Carr throwing him the ball, it just made me a better uh, cornerback. And what do you feel is your biggest strength as a cornerback? I would say my physicality and uh, coming up and attacking the run mm-hmm. and my length that I can use to play on a receiver. Absolutely. You, you mentioned your length. I see uh, Fresno State, the, the, the school website, has you listed at six foot, 190, uh, 190 pounds, I believe. I mean, uh, some great some great length, like you mentioned. And, uh, you know, I'm sure some uh, NFL teams are really happy to see that. And, of course, your physicality as well. Um, how about a weakness? I mean, is there anything specific that you've been uh, taking some time to improve on during the off season? Uh, I, I would say turning around and locating the ball. Because I can jump, it's just I just have to get used. My body used to turning around, wedging, and locating the ball and going up and attacking it. All right, all right, and uh, you know this is a question that I like to ask uh, really everybody that that I get a chance to talk to. Uh, is there a, a player currently playing in the NFL that you might compare your game to? Uh, I compare myself to Patrick Peterson. <laughs> um, I, I, he's, he's just a great athlete, um, and I, he's a great person too. Uh, but he can play offense, he can play special teams, catch points and stuff like that, and that's the type of player that I am. Hey, one of the best uh, cornerback or, or actually defensive backs uh, as a whole, one of the best in the uh, NFL, so certainly cannot go wrong uh, with, with Patrick Peterson of the Arizona Cardinals. Uh, once again, Chris NFL talking with 2015 NFL draft prospect, cornerback out of Fresno State, Curtis Riley here on the CS Podcast. And, Curtis, just a few more questions, then I'll let you go. I really do appreciate your time. Um, now, let's say there's an NFL general manager listening to this very interview. Uh, why should he want you a part of his team? to be to want to lead the, the, the DB group and my passion to, to win I just I go hard every day I, I work for everything that I want and I just don't stop until I get it has it sunk in yet that you've played in your final college football game and that the next time you play will be in the pros yeah it's sunk in a little bit um I kind of miss the the scenery of college though it was great playing in uh, Bulldog Stadium but Mm-hmm. Well, I, I, you know, as I said, I was doing some research for this interview just a little bit ago, and I see that the last college football game that you played in uh, was actually a college all-star game, the East-West Shrine game. Uh, can you just tell us a little bit about that experience, what it was like to go up against some of the best uh, talent in the country? I, I actually didn't get to go to the East-West Shrine game mm-hmm. uh, because I 
because I had a foot injury. So I, I really was rehabbing my foot and getting ready for my pro day. Oh, man, that, that had to be a bummer right there. Uh, you were invited to it, though, I, I believe. Uh, you know, what? I mean, does that mean anything to you that you were recognized to being a part of one of the best uh, college football all-star games? Yeah, it was, it was, it was really good, um, especially after all the hard work that I put in and the kicking in that I was going to be in the NFL. That was a real eye-opener, knowing that I got invited to the East West game um, with a lot of scouts being there and playing with some of the top college players in college football. And you mentioned that you're rehabbing your foot for the Fresno State Pro Day. How's the, how's the foot feeling nowadays? Oh, my foot feels great. Um, and my numbers show from Pro Day mm-hmm. that it feels great. So it's, 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 we've got to wait and see where I'm laying now. Right on now. Uh, so, so it sounds like you're, you're pretty, uh, you feel pretty good about your performance at the Pro Day. Is that right? Yes, sir. Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, maybe you do, maybe you don't. But uh, any chance you know any of the uh, numbers that you put up? My vertical was a 38 and a half, uh, broad jump 10-9, scouts clocked me in at mid to high 4-4 range, um, mid 6-7 in the L drill, and that's all I can remember. All right, well, it sounds good. Now, uh, you know, I I mentioned it a couple times. The uh, NFL draft is actually going to be here in Chicago for the first time. It's going to be, I I believe, we're just over three weeks away, April 31st through uh, May 2nd. Do you have any plans uh, during that time? Oh, uh, I I really just want to stay home with my family and um, just enjoy that moment with them Mm -hmm. and uh, just have everybody come together and just enjoy it. That's all. Hey, sounds great. Well, uh, Curtis, that's actually all I have for you, man. I really do appreciate your time. It was a pleasure speaking with you. Uh, you, You've definitely had a hell of a journey, and it looks like it's all going to pay off here uh, in just a few weeks. Definitely wishing you nothing but the best throughout this process. Uh, Do you have anything else for us before I let you go? Uh, Well, just thank you for having me and um, taking your time. I appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Yeah, man, thank you, man. Once again, thank you very much. Uh, Wishing you nothing but the best, and take care. All right, Curtis?